Sunshine. John, it's always good to see you. Is this uh, business or social? Actually, I'm here to see Kelly. Yeah, I don't think Marty would appreciate you here sniffing around these Kramer women instead of taking care of her and John Jr. Congratulations, by the way. Having a baby, it's a wonderful thing. Oh, yeah, like you'd know. Yes, congratulations. I'm happy for the both of you, John. Before you believe that, I got a bridge to say. Well, if y'all excuse me, I have to get ready for court. John, it's always great to see you. And Todd, do not make me call security. You have a minute to talk? Sure. Todd. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah, don't mind me. Is this about my mom's death? I got a lead. I'm gonna check it out. So when you're saying that you said you weren't sure you were going to get involved, did you speak to the authorities in California? Mm -hmm. We're in touch. I got this lead and I want to follow up. Oh, we don't need your lead. I got my own lead. But the calls to Kelly coming from inside the institution. Hey, look, why don't you do us all a favor and just leave this to professionals? <laughs> yeah, the last time this professional was in charge, you got cozy with Natalie. Jessica got shot and some stripper fell through some ice. Okay, Todd. I'm really thankful for all the help you have given me, but John is better equipped and much less likely to get himself arrested, okay? Oh, uh, well, let me tell you, he's not exactly well-liked among legal circles. Okay, you are? What's next? What's next is I've got interviews scheduled with the staff at the institution. I'm flying out today. Great. I'll go with you. Here. Why don't you tell her what... I work alone. John, this is my mother we're talking about. Which means you're emotionally involved. Which means you'll make mistakes. We can't risk that. Fine. Then I'll go out there on my own. And no doubt make silly mistakes with my ignorant questions and bad timing. Yeah, I'll keep her on the straight and narrow, John. All right, kiddo? It's just you and me now. John doesn't want to leave Marty alone anyway. Not in her delicate condition. Well, that is any of your business that... Marnie's fine with me going to California. Well, you have no jurisdiction. I've been credentialed to investigate any crime that ties into our ongoing investigation of Mitch Lawrence and Allison Perkins. Great. Then we're all set. No, I don't think so. Do you forget who you work for? Me. You set one foot out of Lambie. You're fired. You know what? I changed my mind. Kelly, you can come with me. McBain! Uh -huh. Yeah. And thanks to my contract, I have several personal days coming my way. I have to stop by the hospital. Bo just woke up. Enjoy. I'm going to pack a bag and I will meet you at the airport. See you there. Bye, Todd. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Where's everybody going? Nowhere. If I have anything to say about it. I have to stay here. I think so. I was just checking on the internet. It seems all the flights from Lambie to California have been booked. Todd, did you buy all the tickets? Well, I'm sure he did. Which is why I took the liberty of booking his jet. You can't do that. Oh, according to my contract, I most certainly can. Well, I forbid it. <laughs> you can't do that. Anymore. I need the jet. My needs trump yours. Oh, yeah, as always. Well, in that case, I am sure that Kevin would just love to loan me the BE jet. Especially if I tell him it would tick you off royally. Right. So I'll be taking a jet. Blair, goodbye. Goodbye. Well, it looks like you just met your match. <laughs> Grab the first.